This is not the news. I'm G, your host, and uh, almost, almost. I'll tell you what, we got some news out of Pennsylvania. This is USA. Let's see what we got. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Pennsylvania, a mom took her kids to Lancaster Prison to see an inmate there. So I don't think they let her in. So she put up her car and took her top off, and her breasts were just out there in the sunlight. And all these inmates were yelling and screaming. The kids were playing on the speed limit sign. They didn't care what was going on. The guards there called the police. And of course, she gets jail time for four months. Now, in Texas, if she wanted to see a prisoner, they would give her the red carpet inside the jail if she's going to walk down the aisles with her breast out. Now, that's a thrill for the inmates and dessert all at the same time. <laughs> On to more news. Okay, we got some news that we got to dig deep for. I mean, deep to get news about this. Shoot. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. This was a duffel bag from the Titanic. If you believe that, go ahead. <laughs> uh, the news just in about Titanic, and they finding out, research is finding out, iceberg was not the only thing that uh, caused them, uh, the Titanic, to go down. Because when they were building the Titanic ship in uh, wherever they were building it at, I don't care. Don't care. It's like there was a fire that broke out in the hull. Hull is the front part of the ship. Okay. That meant it was 1,800 degrees, and it took them a long time to put it out. And so uh, some researchers looked at some photos, and they saw a crease in the hull. And some of them said it's a glare. No, 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 they found it different. So, so before they left port, they swept, they swept this news under the rug, a lot of rugs. So the iceberg was just the catalyst for the ship to go down. So now if you decide to go on a cruise, bring your own life preserver, that has flashing lights on it and sensors and a pre-recorded message saying I, to your wife or husband, I will be home late. <laughs> I need a three-finger drink on that one. <laughs> on to more news. Okay, I promised you some more news. And we got some news about, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what we got here. Uh, you've heard of uh, Jude Law, right? He's the actor. He's a good actor. And he's got this gorgeous girl, not girlfriend, excuse me, gorgeous daughter. Her name is Iris Law. So let me show you a picture of her. As, we're ta as I'm talking about her, take a look right here. Take a look. Look at that dress, would you? She fashioned that dress right there. And she's going to a fashion show, which she d was there in London probably show off her dress for fashion and all this other stuff. It's like, wow. You know, let me get some scissors out. I'm going to cut my shirts. And I'm going to cut my pants. And I'm going to get into fashion. You got that? <laughs> I need another shot. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Ah. Destruction, construction, oh, everywhere. It's like this is our news today, not the news. I'm G, your host. Read my lips. Meow. <laughs>